Look at this. Look at the table you made. Look at the stage of the farm. Look. Everything is messed up. And apparently he hasn't been here since the day he was sick. And yesterday he told me he, he went to buy something and he'll be back. Look at Look at the state of the farm. Look at Apparently they haven't swept here all week. Remember when I said I was going to experiment with Benjamin with a local chicken? Here it is. I brought one, so I'm putting it in the coop. This little coop that Benjamin stays in. And let's see what happens in a few months. Benji, I bought you a wifey. Are you excited? I bought you a wifey, Benji. I bought you a wifey, Benji. Oh, look at He's like, who's that? Why is, the, why is the goat and the chicken and everything in the same coop? I don't get these people. Benjamin, see a wife. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> He's like, yay. Make your moves. Let me see. Don't beat her up. You need to be gentle. Stop it! <laughs> Benjamin, that's your new wife, okay? I need some cute hybrid chicks. So you do the job. Okay? Look what I brought you. I brought you a girlfriend. <laughs> do you know what he's trying to do? I don't know if that's hello. I'm happy to have you or get out of here. I'm not sure. Those of you that know what that means, let me know, okay? Because I don't know. <laughs> what is he trying to do? I have no idea. Is he trying to scare her or saying hello? I'm happy to have you. I don't know. So, translate, okay? You people that speak chicken body language. Why is the goat in here? Eh? Maybe I'm going to And the moon fix it. Let's see her how. Or that modern prayer go bombia. Say you know no or one more about to move here for. Fancy brand new new hand. And they don't have feed either. I'm sad, guys. Benjamin's wife went through that hole. I didn't know there was a, a little hole in the wire mesh. Then that's what my problem is. They don't fix stuff like that. And when I came on the side, there was some. I told them to fix it. You heard it in the video. I didn't realize there was an opening there and she jumped out. So she's somewhere in the farm. Hopefully tonight we can capture her and bring her back to Benjamin. Ugh. So annoying when you have to tell them everything. I didn't realize there was an hole there. I would have fixed it. And she, because she's tiny, local chicken, she was able to jump out out of there very easily. Ugh. Guys, it's not easy. Benjamin. Don't worry, okay? She'll come back. That's what the, how the owner calls them. So she's there. She's there. I see her head. Right over there. I'm gonna get used to this area. Then we'll put it back with Benjamin. 
I am so happy. And um, the guy I bought the turkeys from, he has a bit of chicken, goats, everything. So I, I told him I wanted to experiment with a cockerel I have on the farm. And I wanted to purchase one. And he said, no, it's okay. So he gave it to me for free. So when I do get them to hatch, I'm going to go and gift him the hybrid chicks. If it all works out as my thank you. But I've bought some of these local chickens before. It was like 70, 50. And that was a couple of years ago. So, so there she is. She's enjoying the compound with some of my old layers. See them? The white layer. She's an old layer. Oh, she's trying to bully her. Shoot. Stop it. <laughs> she's like, this is my territory. What are you doing here? Oh, my goodness. Jumped out. He jumped out. Hi, guys. How are you? It's been a week. Are you used to your home, new home now? That's the nesting boxes we came up with. Let me go in and see. So the guy told me when they lay, I pick it up and hide it till they have enough so let's see I don't know if I'm supposed to touch it or not but <laughs> oh I thought the eggs would be bigger than that so how many is in there this is one two three four Five. Okay, it looks like we have five eggs. So that's good news. So we're going to hide them in. He said when they have about eight or something and it looks like he's ready to sit on it, then we let it, we put it in the nesting box. So not bad. So hopefully in a few weeks, three weeks or more, all month we'll have little turkeys. Hello guys. Do you like your new home? They've been eating layers, layer feed. So that's the nesting boxes. So I'm not sure which one of the female is laying. But one jumped out over that. So <laughs> it's not high enough. She knows, um, she knows when to come back, so that's interesting. See, she's going to jump down. Come on, let me see you. Let me see you jump in. Yeah. Knowing that you're watching them, they'll never do. You turn the camera off. Okay, he's not going to jump, so let me just turn the camera off. <laughs> I spoke to the guy that I bought the eggs from. 
And then I told him how many I have. And he said, I can leave it in the nesting box now. So when they want to sit on it, they can sit on it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. It may seem stupid, but this is my first time, so I'm learning. So I don't know where I should put it. I think I'll put it here because over there, there's a hole there. There's a little hole there, so oh, this here too. But um, anyways, I put a stone there, so now I'm gonna put the eggs here so she can see, and then hopefully hatch me some. Eggs. There we go. That's the five eggs. So let me make it comfy. And let's see what happens. Okay, my job is done. Wish me luck, guys. Let's sit on it, okay? I don't know if I should do it in that corner since it's darker yeah I think I'll do it in this corner sorry guys I'll move it <laughs> or should I leave it or should I just switch the nesting boxes around switch the nesting boxes I think this one because it's shorter it seems darker in there so see the, the eggs are still there and I put that one in that corner so get on it, okay? Spread their wings when they when they see the female. It's so interesting. Chickens do the same thing. I saw Benjamin do it to, to the chick I brought in. eating and they're happy they're used to their new home that's a good sign he's eating contumbre and he says i want to make you i want to make you And kuntum is anyway. Okuyam leaves. Or taro leaves. Taro leaves. Let's see. Is he going? Is he going to sit on it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I got I captured it. Oh my god. She just went on it. It's the black one laying. Oh my god. She's on it. She's on it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know if she's going to break it, but she's in there. Oh, is she breaking it? No. Oh, my God. She's booting it. She's booting it. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I'm excited. I captured it on camera the first time she's sitting on the eggs. So, obviously, it's the black one, I think. The black one who's been laying. Oh, see? She's getting it ready so she can sit on it comfortably. Oh, I like that. Don't come out, don't come out. Fix it and stay there. This is super exciting. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's like if I speak loud, she'll leave. <laughs> but then you go, oh, she's stepping on it. Is she gonna break it? <gasps> Ooh, I'm nervous, but I think she's getting it ready so she can comfortably sit on it. Does she have enough room? She's roaming around. Yay, she sat down. Is she comfortable? Every time Benjamin 
crows. The turkey does that too. Oh, she got out. Oh no, you broke my heart. What is it? What are you saying? Do you need a bigger nesting box? What's going on? Are you saying something? Is the white one going to go sit on it too? I don't know guys. She got out. I'm sad. Let's see if the white one will also go in there and try and sit on it. And the white one is also going in. She's also nosing around to see what she can do there. Hopefully she stays. It's okay, chicken. Be quiet and lay your egg. Let me see what this turkey is doing to its eggs, too. Okay. The white one is also crouch over. I don't know what she's trying to do. Is she going to stay or is she going to come up? Like the black one did. And what does that mean? Is it too tight in there? Is it uncomfortable? Is she the rightful owner of the eggs? So many questions and no answer. Hmm. Maybe it's hers because she stays. She got on it. The other one didn't even get on it. So maybe it's the white turkey's eggs. Cause she's she has stayed. She's brooding. She is brooding. Let's see how long before she gets out. I wonder if the male turkey will ever go in there and disturb her or she just let her be. So I'm thinking it was the white it was it was the white turkey's eggs. Okay, I'll keep you updated. So far she's on there. Maybe for a minute. But never mind. Those are my dogs too, making all that silly sounds. I think it was the white white turkey's egg because she's staying. And she's getting sawdust closer to the eggs. See with her beaks. So she's she has the maternal instinct. She's protecting her eggs by bringing more sodas. This is interesting. Turkey's around there. I don't know. Okay, she's... Yeah, that's definitely the white turkeys because she's prepping. She's gathering sawdust all around her to make sure no egg is exposed. So she's the mama here. She's the mama. Today is August 19th. Yeah, 20th. I think. Can you come? Yeah, yeah, August 20th. August 20th, yes. And they came last Sunday. So it's been a week exactly. So that was August 13th. And then within the week, I got five eggs. And, and I told them to keep it aside. So I called the guy, like I said, and he said to put it there. And she's sitting on it. So August 20th, a week from when we brought it. And let's see what happens three weeks from now. Little turkeys walking around. I can't wait. God, I don't know. Now the white one got out and the black one is getting on it. What's going on here? Oh, maybe something for the black one and something for the white one. Maybe. I don't know. This is my first time. So now she's also moving it. Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter who sits on it as long as they get the heat and they crack when it's time, but hey. She's moving them. Yeah. 
the way that it's comfortable for her. Because she got in first, she, and she got out, and then the white got on it, sat on it for like maybe 10 minutes, and then the black one kept going there. So the white one jumped out, and now the black one is in there trying to sit on it. This is a learning curve. <laughs> I'm still learning. So let me know. And she has to fix it first. She's fixing it. Let me know in the comment section. Maybe I shouldn't stand here watching and just let nature take take its course. Because I'm being nervous. I'm like, ooh. The... I don't know. Maybe, maybe they each have eggs in there. Who knows? So they will take turns rooting it. She's sitting on it. Yeah. But she's not doing any work like the white one did. The white one piled more sawdust around it. And I'm still seeing it. When the white one sat on it, I didn't see any peeping out. Somewhere I left out. Okay. They do. The feeder was full. Tell those dogs to be quiet, damn it. When I went there, there was doing Okay, so that's the latest development. The white one sat on it, got out. The black one is now on it. Oh, well. I think she got up to eat. Mm. There she is, eating. Mm -hmm. The black turkey is still sitting on it. So we're going to go and we'll come back later and see if they've switched. Or, yeah. Bye-bye. Happy brooding eggs. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Howdy. What are you doing? And she's still sitting on it. And these are eggs from my old layers. I left about eight walking around and they still lay. So here you go. So she's still on it. And then the male is here. And the white one is just walking around making noise. You jump over this. <laughs> so hopefully there won't be no space for them to jump out. Anyway. What is your problem? Hmm? So yeah, she's still on it. So now it's settled. It's definitely her eggs. And I don't see any new eggs today.